Hello, is this focus gonna work? Cause that would be great. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. The first thing I wanted to say was thank you so much for the good response on the video that I posted on Thursday. I was super, super nervous about posting it, but I have gotten nothing but love back and I really appreciated it and I want to say thank you. Now on to the like actual purpose of this video. Today's video is going to be how to help that trans masculine person in your life at that time of the month. I was around a lot of people that didn't know exactly what to do for me, how to help me during that time of the month considering I wasn't identifying as female and thus they didn't want to do something wrong and they didn't want to give me something that was too feminine, they didn't want to try and comfort me, that would end up making me dysphoric. So I thought it would be nice to provide a couple ideas for you guys or you if you are trans yourself of what you can do when your trans mask friend or person is on their period. Let's get into it. The first thing is to make sure that they have painkillers with them at all times. Midol is great, but Tylenol and Motrin work just fine. And I also want to add that a lot of these can also be geared towards people who identify as female. However, I wanted to provide a safe environment with non-gendered ideas for trans mask guys that get their period. The second thing is make sure they stay hydrated. Drinking enough water is important in everyday life anyways, but it's especially important when you're on your period because getting dehydrated is very, very easy. So make sure they've got a water bottle around them and if they don't have water, get them some water. The third thing I have is to use a period tracker app. The reason I say this is because it can help prepare yourself or your trans friend for when their period is going to come, which can help lessen dysphoria and anxiety related around their period. And I know that's something I really would have liked to have used when I still got a period, but I never thought about it. There weren't a lot of period tracker apps, and now there are a ton, so go use those. It'll predict your cycle. It'll make your life hell of a lot easier. Treat yourself to or give your trans person a care package, whether it be their favorite food and movie or just some of the sanitary products that they prefer to use while that time of the month is there. If you're somebody else, it'll show you care about them. And if it's yourself, you deserve to go and treat yourself, especially during this tough time. And the last thing I have is just to remind yourself or remind your trans friend that they are completely valid. They are still trans masculine and they are still a guy or masculine identifying even though this process is happening. Their identity is real despite the current situation. Biology can fucking suck sometimes, so you know what? Just remind yourself or remind your trans friend that you're still real, you're still valid, you're still a human being. These were kind of like the five basic things I would say to do for your trans friend or you being a trans person while you're on your period and it just kind of makes life a little bit easier. I'm sure there are more things here and there that you can throw in that make them feel better but these are just kind of like the five basic things that I wish I would have gotten when I still got a period. If you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below some future hashtag trans education ideas I can have. I always accept new ideas to add to my list especially if I haven't done them before because I'm looking for more things to talk about more things to educate people on, and more things to just have a discussion about. You can subscribe if you like, because I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel, and I'm doing it more consistently now, thank God. I also have a side channel where I am now daily vlogging, so there is a video going up every single day of my life that's a little bit insane, so the link to that is below, so you can check it out and subscribe over there if you want. If you want to follow me on all of my social media, it is at the Riley Kyle. It is the best way to keep in touch with me, especially through Snapchat and Twitter and Tumblr, to. Those are the most social media platforms I use and that's how you can interact with me day to day in real time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I have for you. I love you and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye!